Hi, my name is Jenny Walker and welcome to Jenny Girl's Closet. Today we're going to talk about The Life-Changing Magic of KonMari. It's the book by Marie Kondo that everyone is talking about. The New York Times has reviewed it and now it's just in the zeitgeist and I have now tonight put some of the the things that she suggests in action in my own dresser drawer and I got so excited I wanted to show you. Now I am not on camera today because I am not camera ready. It is Sunday. It's my day off and so I figured I'd show you my pillow instead. Um, so uh, anyway I'm going to take you to my dresser and show you the results of my tidying up. So um, we're just going to go over here and uh, find my dresser here we go now this is really cool this is a 1980s uh, retro black lacquer dresser with a lot of bling on it I love this thing I got it here in Pasadena when I moved um so anyway I'm going to show you some of the results of what happened now I just moved to Pasadena from New York City where I've been for 15 years and the lifestyle in New York is um you know different um no no car that i have for 15 years and did a lot of walking around and wore a lot of the color black i've been wearing black since the 80s now you'll see in this sock drawer a sea of blackness <laughs> which is interesting because those are all of my socks now why do i have so many uh first of all why do am i wearing gloves so it's because i have not had a manicure so <laughs> You get pillows for my face and patent leather glove by Moschino for, for the rest of me. So, anyway, I have all these socks because, well, I hate to admit it, but uh, there was no washer and dryer uh, in in where I live, which is very common in New York. And it was, uh, you know, either in the basement of the building or you did a wash and fold. So, I just didn't, I bought more socks than I needed so I wouldn't have to do laundry very often. And that's just the way I rolled there. So anyway, from light to dark, we've got all kinds of socks going on here. Now there's a, there's an art to this. I mean, it's very artistic how all this looks um, so organized in here. I mean, from, from light to dark, from argyle to stripes to, to dots, uh, polka dots to solids. Um, you know, I've, I don't know. It's just, it feels really good to have it organized this way. I can't even tell you. I mean, it's palpable. You can feel the difference in my room just from having gone through this process. Um, did a lot of purging recently. But anyway, this is my sock drawer. And so, yeah, it's a little insight into uh, how I roll at home. So, yeah. And then the next one down. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah. This is the... Um, camisoles, t-shirts, tank tops, and underwear drawer. Now I have um, removed all the really uh, fancy schmancy uh, underwear out of here and uh, put that elsewhere, but this is all like the basic stuff. Again, a sea of blackness um, uh, and uh, all this in here. A few bits of color, but uh, yeah, so here are my, uh, my tops um, by color. Uh, you'll see there's a little, there's still a ton of black in here. Now I've been buying a lot of blue recently because um, living in California, I'm trying to move away from the black so much and blue has been my, my go-to color. So it's a little bit of how I've organized in here. We go one drawer down. Let's see what we got. Um, okay, pant world. So we went from sock world, t-shirt world, underwear world, now we're in pant world. So pant world uh, is organized um, by types of pants actually have the these are a very different type than here these are like athletic pants uh um got my uh yeah these are yeah these are like workout athletic pants in here and then um these which are by the gap which i love it's some sort of imitation velvet that's not velvet it's not even cotton it's some sort of strange um synthetic fabric that feels like cotton um wears like velveteen wood but but it's something you can wash so yeah I would wear those with boots in the summer down here we have um more athletic pants my vintage juicy couture my gap uh hoodie yes my gap hoodie and some of my athletic workout wear there and then 
These are my, actually the first prototypes ever of uh, my Jenny Girl brand. These are sweatshirts, um, my prototypes, my first color prototype, and then my first black and white prototype down there. Hey there, Jenny Girl. Um, yeah, these were the first ones ever created uh, when I'm, I'm still busy licensing the brand out and working those uh, relationships. But yeah, this is... Uh, little something that I do. So those are the first ones, and I wear those all the time. Uh, back there, more blackness. I see a blackness. <laughs> oh, gosh, workout tops here. Um, so, yeah, this is a little bit about what that drawer looks like. And then the last drawer is um, kind of more of a miscellaneous. Um, we have um, leg warmers here. Now, there are four pair of wool leg warmers. One pair I actually wore in New York by Bally. I love those things, and they actually work. So if you're looking to stay warm and you're in a cold climate, add some leg warmers over your socks and your jeans and your shoes. It, it actually works. So got four pair of those. Um, I'm saving them because, yes, they bring me joy. One, they work. Two, they're cool looking. And three, for trips back to New York during cold climate, I'm going to need to bring something like that with me. So no sense in getting rid of those. Um, a couple of scarves in here. The head wraps from when I work out the gym for the boxing. For those of you who are looking for alternatives, uh, these really, really work. Uh, just the traditional bandanas work really well. Uh, we've got some boxing wraps in here in black and in red. Uh, pantyhose um, that I've yet to wear and don't know if I ever will now that I live in California. I actually got rid of a ton of these pantyhose on this site called Yurdle, Y-E-R-D-L-E dot com. It's a trading site and um, you basically trade your things with other people and um, you trade your stuff, they get your stuff. I don't know, it's been great and I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff I don't need on Yurdle and then getting a few things that I can actually use in return. So yeah, that's just a tiny peek at um, what I did and I'm really, really excited with the results. Uh, my fish are excited too, and uh, so is the pottery. <laughs> this is um, a woman named, I think it's Jan, is her name Jan Wax? This thing's crazy. This is just crazy cool. Yeah, Jan, Jan Wax, yeah, that's her name. Um, pretty well-known designer. Anyway, so, um, yeah, just back to the pillow, because that's better than me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, so that was my attempt. I'm pretty excited by how it looks. I'm very excited how it feels. It feels terrific in my room. I can't even tell you uh, the difference it makes. I did throw out a number of things in that process that went straight into the trash. There weren't anything I could donate, or I sure would have. Now, what no one's really talked about is designer clothing, and, uh, you know, it's um, it's one thing to donate, uh, you know, t-shirts and things like that, but the more higher-end things, a lot of people do want to try to resell and get some money out of that, although a number of charities do certainly accept those things for uh, special auctions they have and some run charity shops, but for the person who wants to resell and get some money out of some of these things they're not wearing anymore, Stores like mine are a great resource, Jenny Girl's Closet. Uh, we are a resale and consignment shop and specialize in higher-end designer items like Chanel, Valentino, Louis Vuitton, Donna Karen, um, Gautier, DKNY, uh, Critzia, and I mean the list goes on and on. Um, some uh, lesser brands that are still fantastic. People love, love, love All Saints. My goodness, I sell so much of that. Um, and uh, this H and M, we specialize in the H and M designer collaboration pieces. We we ship those all over the world. So that's it. I'm Jenny Walker. Uh, this is Jenny Girl's Closet, and this is just a little bit about um, what I did with the information in Maria Kondo's um, book. And as a result, I've actually my sales have gone up in my store like right away as soon as I started purging. I, I did a lot of purging with my paperwork because it's tax time, but I got to, um, things just started moving and I just think it's, uh, just really exciting because it's palpable and I just love the feeling and hopefully you'll get into this, you'll buy the book and you'll subscribe because I will be doing more videos as I go through this process 
for myself. And I'm actually considering uh, putting this into my eBay store because all this inventory to organize it in the way that she's thinking might, um, might be a really good idea. So I'm thinking about that as well. Again, this is Jenny Walker with Jenny Girl's Closet. Uh, thank you for spending your time with me on this video and be sure to subscribe.